When you publish a dashboard to Tableau Online, who can see it? Who can't see it? What licensing do they need? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's get started right now. <music> Here we are for another Tableau video. I'm very excited to be doing this video. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get alerts when I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That way you don't miss out. And before we begin, I just want to do a special shout out to everyone. Uh, the channel has actually reached 3.4 thousand subscribers. And for me, that is massive because back in the day when i kind of started this when you hit 10 subscribers you're like who are these people so it's really cool to just have so many people you know watching the videos um and supporting the channel and i mean the whole idea with me doing these videos was when i first kind of started with tableau um i didn't really have i didn't really find any consistent resources per se um that i really liked in the way that i like learning um that was really available and I needed stuff that was very simple language, simple English, um, because I'm, I don't have a computer science degree. So I needed something that is for beginners or something for anyone to understand. So that's kind of the goal of this and to help people kind of getting into the industry or, you know, people who have lost their jobs or career change and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to get into that too much. Just want to say thank you to everyone. So with that being said, let's start the video. So the question we're going to be um, getting into today is this one, which is from the Nisagi. I'm really curious, can someone not having license uh, see my dashboard um, who has a license? So like if I upload a dashboard and then invite them, can they see my dashboard without a Tableau license? So there's a few layers in here, um, Nisagi, which we're going to cover. So yeah, if you're listening, hey, um, here we go. So when we talk about Tableau online uh, in terms of publishing dashboards, there's really kind of two main things we could be talking about. The first one is Tableau public. So let me show you that if you haven't seen it already. It's basically a public forum where anyone can publish a dashboard. Okay. Now I've mentioned this in, you know, some of my videos that this is completely public. So if you have or if you're using very sensitive data, do not publish here because the whole world can see it. This is a community. This is a, a way for um, designers to share different ideas and different approaches. And I come here all the time to get inspiration because like I'm pretty good at Tableau, but some of these guys are freaks, man. And you know, some of the girls and guys and all sorts of people designing in this, it's just truly amazing. Like I see some of this and I'm like, I don't even know how to do some of this, right? So this is the public part. But there's actually your own private Tableau online component. So what is that? Well, before I show you what it is, let's get into this part here. So if you go into Tableau and go into pricing, you're going to get to this page. And if you click here on Tableau online, <clears throat> it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of show you the setup of what you need. So typically when you start with Tableau, whether it's just by yourself or in an organization or something like that, the one you got to start with is this one, Tableau Creator, because this is what lets you actually build the visualizations. So the Creator Pack actually has three software packages that it's part of. So let me zoom in here. You get Tableau Desktop, which is which you know builds your visualizations. Tableau Prep Builder, which actually does data cleansing, and you probably see some of my videos on that. Um, and then the last one is the Tableau Online. This gives you access to the online platform. The online platform is basically a site where you publish your own dashboards privately. Okay, so only people you invite to your site can see them. Um, when you pub, uh, when you buy, let me get out of the zoom. So when you buy Tableau Creator, you automatically get a free site. So that site right you can publish to so for example let's say i have this dashboard here i can go server publish and when i publish it it takes me to a place that looks like this okay and this is the online platform and the idea being other people in your organization can log in they can view it they can interact with it they can solve their own problems you can have self-service analytics all sorts of crazy stuff right so who can actually see this? Is it automatic? Well, no, it's not automatic. The way it works is, let's say I have five people in my team. Every single person is going to have to buy at least one of these licenses or pick one per person. So if you have a team of five and you have one person just designing, that designer has to have this one, 
And then everyone else is either going to have Tableau Explorer or Tableau Viewer. I actually recommend starting with Viewer and then possibly upgrading to Explorer. So what is kind of the difference between these two? Well, Tableau Explorer has more functionality um, once you get to the Tableau Online um, site part. Tableau Viewer hasn't got as many, but when you're kind of starting off, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of go for this option if you can. Okay, and then if you need that added functionality, if it comes into play, then you can always upgrade with Tableau and switch over to this license. All right, so that covers the licensing. So if you need to view a dashboard that's on a private site, you need to have a license, period. Okay, cool. So now I have a dashboard here. So the next question is, well, let's say, and this has happened to me a few times, Let's say you're starting up in an organization or a new division or a new group or whatever, and you're just kind of like field testing Tableau. You haven't really decided, are we going to go this direction, right? So you, you can't exactly give everyone licenses if you haven't really done a proof of concept or anything like that. So typically you start with that one Tableau creator license, which is this one. And then what you can do with that is... Um, you can either just take a screenshot and share it with everyone, or if you want to know a little trick in order to provide updated data to everyone, kind of, let's say, daily, here's a little trick you can do. Um, let's say you publish this today, and every day you publish it to reset the data right, with the latest data, but no one else has a license yet. So what you do is you click on this subscribe button, okay? And what subscribe does is every day at a time that you set, Tableau themselves, right, the Tableau online will automatically send you an email of this dashboard, right, in an email form with, you know, pictures for each of these um, individual views, okay? What you can do in, and I do it in Outlook, right, so you go in Microsoft Outlook, you just set up a simple rule, and I can't remember how you do it, but just Google it, right? You set up a simple rule, rule in Microsoft Outlook such that when this subscription email comes into you, automatically forward it to your team. So what they get is a picture of this. The only drawback is they can't interact with anything on the screen. The idea with Tableau is that, you know, you've got these filters, you can interact, you can click things, you can view data. All they're going to get is just a screenshot. But at the beginning, that's good enough, right? Just to be able to see the results is better than kind of the old school way of Microsoft Excel, where we're constantly emailing things to each other, which takes up a lot of time. So that's how the licensing and the view works. So Nasagi, hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, no problem. Just drop a comment and, you know, just elaborate more on what you want to learn. And if anyone else has any questions or videos they want done, feel free to drop a comment. I'll try and get to them as soon as possible. There's sort of like a queue of the videos I'm publishing. But that is basically it. So if you like this video and you enjoyed, you know, don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and spread the channel. And until next time, hope you guys enjoyed and bye.